Hello guys, today we are seeing a trailer we made for our Mauritius client. We made two units uh, trailer together and then we are going to pack them together and load them into a 40 foot high cube container. That's why we haven't molded the toolbox and the side guide and also the rear guide. And we do the rear carting so it can be loaded in the uh, 40 foot uh, containers because this trailer is uh, meant to be carrying the 40 foot and 20 foot containers it cannot be loaded in the container which uh, is going to carry so we have to cut the rear about 700 millimeter we have cut it we, we shall see that later in the front we have uh, the air connector yellow line and uh, red line and the electricity socket it's uh, 24 volt it's uh, right to here, the ISO SAE uh, standard. The first uh, line is white and then black, uh, yellow, red, green, uh, brown, blue. These two bumpers are protecting this being hit during the operation. So because here is a little bit weak, that's why we need this to protect it. Here is the king pin plate. We have a maintenance hole here. If you need to do any maintenance, and you can operate here, so it's very easy. Get the line through here to the rear and then get it to the front and get it from here and uh, try to do the maintenance and the repairing. Here are the campaign. The campaign is a 50 millimeter diameter bolted type. And in the front we have the landing gear. The landing gear is one side operation. That's the right side. In China it's the road side. And the two boxes also on that side. The reason we put the landing gear and two box in the rear side is because we need to make sure the driver or the operator to keep safe when they are using this. Here we can see the braking system and the light harness, light harness system. Here we have uh, the easy connector so you can easily get it out. You just push here. I cannot do it with one hand, but you can do it with two hands very easily and get it out and it's waterproof. This is the LED light. LED light uh, uh, for the side and the rear. Here we have the, two, uh, the twist lock. The twist lock, we can lock the containers on the deck or we can retract it to the bottom of it. So when you're carrying the loose cargo, it won't be uh, a point, tight point. That's how you lock it. When the twist lock goes into the corner casting, you, you need to turn it to this position to lock it up. Here is the greasing point. You need to do the greasing uh, periodically. The two box uh, is too high right now. We cannot uh, make a video for you. We can make another video for you and, and try to uh, show you later. On the top, we have the side protection and the side protection side guide to prevent uh, the small motorcycle or other people goes under the semi-trailer. And the landing gear, we haven't installed any uh, support uh, bracket yet. It should be one from here and uh, two in the middle and uh, two to the rear. But since uh, we need to deliver this by container and we need to remove them so we haven't uh, we haven't uh, molded uh, at all but we shall give those spare parts to our client and uh, they can do it uh, over there also the boat we haven't uh, we haven't uh, make the boat here's the ratchet the ratchet can be operated very easily so when you are fastening a route and you, you need you need to Tight the rope here and then use a rod to go through like this. Ah. But do not use your finger. This is a bad example. Okay. Here is uh, another hose for the side protection. You need to use your boat and the nuts to fasten it up. On the top, we have uh, the rear cutting. The rear cutting is. Uh, 700 millimeter from the rear 
we leave the boat hose over there. You need to pull the boat, get through it, and then fasten it from here. Use it, use a crack uh, forklift or the crane to tie them together first. And then you need to weld around from here to here, and then from here to here. Weld it around to make it one piece. So it won't affect the payload and the distribution at all. On the top, we have uh, we have the light over there and the, the twist lock here. <coughs> okay. Oh, by the way, ah, leave it there. By the way, this is the this is a two box uh, bracket. You can install the two box over there by those uh, four uh, steel bars. And here is also a greasing point. You need to grease uh, the landing gear every month or checking if the greasing is getting black. You need to check, you need to change it. Okay, because we don't have uh, the side protection, so we can get to the bottom of the trailer very easily. Here is the two may beam. The two may beam is uh, having the cross member. Cross member on the top, that's cross member. So the cross member get on the top and we have the middle middle member to support uh, inside of the of the two may beam and then on the side we have the bracket bracket to support uh, the end of the cross member and the side beam okay and uh, here is the tocam this is adjustable tocom and that is a fixed tocom. We have three adjustable tocom at uh, the right position and uh, three fixed uh, tocom at the left position. People ask uh, how to tell the left and right, why you are facing to the rear and seeing the, your, uh, your left hand is right. Actually, the trailer and the container, you need to face to the front. And when you are facing to the front, your right hand would be the right side of the trailer, and then your left hand would be the left uh, side of the trailer. Okay? I, I, I'm sure you guys already know all of this. So, okay, that's, uh, that's the emergency valve, and uh, that's the air chamber, that's the leaf spring, that's the U-boat, and that's the U-boat seat, and that's the uh, axle, uh, that's the spring seat. It's connecting to the, that's the, uh, Tocom seat. So that's suspension hanger. This one is uh, the front suspension hanger. It has four for three axle. One, two, three, four. Four set of uh, hangers. The front uh, suspension hanger does not have uh, the equalizer. The middle two sets all have equalizer connecting with uh, leaf springs. Those leaf springs uh, are changing position and uh, observing the shock from uh, from the driving okay and then we have uh, the air reserve tank the air reserve tank is mounted on the frame so it uh, could give the braking power to the air chamber so the air chamber would push the slight dust over there this is a slight dust we can go to the rear to see more clear Okay, here is the slight adjuster. If the stroke of the air chamber pushed to the front, then the slight adjuster would move to this position. Then it would turn the camera shift. The camera shift would turn, would re return. Uh, and then inside it has a shape like this. It would get it, Euro is, uh, Euro is like this. If you turn, it gets bigger, bigger slike. So when the slike is get so slike is the gap between the two braking pads. So when the slike is getting bigger, you can get the brake to the braking drum. I know my explanation may be a little bit rough. I hope you get the point. And this is the spring. We call it a return spring. So once it releases from the front. The stroke would be, and the slack adjuster would be pulled back to the braking release position. So the 
wheel can be moved again. Okay. All right. This that's a mud flake, and uh, that's uh, the rear again. We have the harness, the electricity harness, at here. So once it arrives, you can open this and try to do the electricity connecting. And this is uh, the side uh, view of the trailer. And you can see the tire. The tire is Triangle brand. Where is the brand? Okay, here. It says uh, Triangle. What size is it? Uh, it is here. Okay. It is a 12R 20.2. And uh, wow, it's 18 PR. This is a suspension, the rear suspension hanger with a, a strong reinforcement plate, a stiffener, exactly equal weight to the suspension hanger to the top. This is the suspension hanger. And this is uh, another suspension hanger. Okay. Here is another one. Wow, we have four of them each side. So totally we have uh, eight uh, pieces of suspension hanger and the four equalizers. In the middle of the equalizer, it uh, is a equalizer pan. Here is a greasing point. You need to grease it uh, every month or every uh, every three or two weeks. Here is the axle. The axle with a 10 start, quite normal, and the rim. The rim with uh, uh, with ten hand holders, and then it is uh, I don't know how to say it's quite normal. <laughs> okay, here the spare tire carrier. The spare tire carrier is uh, using to carrying one or two spare. Uh, we strongly suggest that you carry one only every time. One spare wheel. I don't know why they call it a spare tire. Maybe it's tire outside, but if you don't have the rim, you cannot get it on. So you have to have the rim with the tire. The tire with rim, we call it wheel, but it is a spare wheel, a spare tire carrier. Most of people call it spare tire carrier. It has been mounted on the main frame with, the full, with four bolts. With the four bolts on the main frame, so it gives uh, enough strength to hold the spare tire to the trailer. And on the top, we have the check the steel flow. The check the steel flow would give uh, more fraction to the loose cargo. If you are carrying any bags or wood, then it will be good. Okay, guys, I hope you guys uh, like our video today. If you like our channel, please uh, click the subscribe or click the like button for this video. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye bye. The two unit of the flatbed is waiting for the coating over there. We have already done the sand blasting. Now it's only waiting for the coating and then we can do the assembly. You can see more detail from this point of view. You can see we use sand to do the sand blast to remove the dust and the rust on top of it. This is a toolbox. Here's the test lock. The sand blasts the, the coat away from it. We cut the rear to put it on the top. So later, the client might need to assemble them together.